Hello and welcome back to Riffsley again. Today we're painting Avalon Rockpool. Using really bright colours in the Fovist tradition. Fovist means wild beast in French. There were 20th century modern artists that use really bright colours. Avalon's been in the news lately, so it's quite significant that we're painting it. I painted this last week, but I'm posting it this week. It was maybe a little bit fresh in everyone's mind last week. But Avalon's still in lockdown at the moment. Till the 9th of January. I didn't do any preliminary sketching. So I'm sketching straight onto the white canvas. Lovely red oxide and white mixture. It's red oxide without the white. Working out where the rocks are. Pool was quite aqua. I'm putting in a bit of brighter green there. Paint a bit of blue and aqua over that later. But we'll get this base colours down. A bit of blue. These colours will sneak through as I build it up. It's very focused at the beginning. quite tricky using bright colours like this. I like this stage when it is really bright and focused. I should try paint that style a little more. sponge. You can buy a sea sponge from the art shop. It's just a little bit of sponge from the sea, not a commercial sponge. It has a very random shape and holes in it, like a sponge. It can give quite a good random texture. So I, I experiment with that a fair bit in this painting. Just keep working on your painting until you're happy with it. Just keep working. It's okay if you paint over things, completely change things. Keep working on it until you're happy. Of course, when you've got to post your video on a Saturday, once that Saturday's here, you don't have much time left. Here's my homemade painting stick. Not very attractive. This stops you leaning on your painting with your hand. Especially if it's wet. Tapping up the pool to get a nice crisp edge. Changing the colour of it and well using the tape so it makes it look quite man-made. Whereas all the other shapes are quite organic. That shadow is very dark. I have to soften that. I 
And there's a bathing pool, a little kids pool on the side. It looks dry. It's just full of sand and there's no water in it because it's so shallow. Water comes in on the right hand side of the pool. So the gap in the rocks there splashes up over the edge. Hello to all my friends on the northern beaches. Working detail into the rocks. Very red there. Keep adding colours. It's a completely different perspective just looking straight on top of a rock from being down on ground level, looking at them from the side. The light's different too. The sun is coming from directly above. The shadows are around the edges of the rock. I have a few bright lights in the studio. Sometimes when the painting is on a bit of an angle, there's a bit of a reflection on it. So you quite completely change the rocks there. Then work back into it. Smear some paint on it, let it dry. Work some detail into it. Let it dry. Come back, work a little bit more. Leave a comment in the comments. If you're enjoying the rock pools, if you want to see more. If you think I should paint something else, leave a comment, let me know. There's Rusty. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Press like, give me a thumbs up. All these things help. Thank you for watching the trick finger. Rusty trick finger. Been painting these paintings for a few months now. More pool work. I pulled the edge of it with sandstone and it was in segments. And the segments were different colour. quite subtle. Maybe it's quite harsh with a bit of cement grey that got changed. I let it dry and I pulled the tape off. Stuck out like a sore thumb. There it is. Let me knock that back. The rocks become quite red here. This is a good shot of it, quite bright. Green orange, the green is very bright. Working on the water, the rocks, trying to get the water in between the rocks. I 
open up the rocks a bit more water in there. Put a bit of tape on it so I can... Well, I was trying sponging in between the rocks. Add a bit of paint, pull the tape off, and then try and break that hard edge up that the tape produced. sunlight coming in from my window there. Touching up the pool, getting a lot of aqua to the pool surface. Change the pool a fair bit here. Putting more detail into the rocks. Getting some darks. Around the rocks, even more water in between the rocks. Starting to take shape. If you leave it that long. You won't see the pool like this, so it will be a completely different view for you. Especially that bright orange sand. Well, there it is. Avalon Rock Pool. soften the area around the rocks there on the left as you see in the last couple of stills don't forget to subscribe and come back next Saturday see what I've done next week thanks for watching